Slick as you please. So, Super, Superman and Batman had a fight. You, in the state that in the state that this is in, could you please leave the stage as we want to get the next guy? Fine. Can you give a round of applause for all of the guys who are Johnny's jumping game remains on point. Uh, so, for this next game, as I say, we've brought in a special guest. But before we bring on our special guest, just to let you know, a few people have asked me, hey Mike, by the way, what is that space out the back behind the big closed curtains over there? That's for you. That's your space where you can go and chat, you can mingle, you can do whatever you want. There's food there, you can take drinks there. Also, the stream is still playing. I can actually weirdly see myself uh, on the <laughs> monitor over there with a 30 second delay. Hot. So. <laughs> So, so thanks. <laughs> uh, sorry, I couldn't resist. So, will you please welcome onto the stage <laughs> my very good friends Martin, Helen, Ben Meredith, and our special guest, Grant. <laughs> screen right in front of the GM. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Uh, if you can't see me behind the screen, hi, I'm Grant Howitt. I wrote What's About to Happen. <laughs> it is a hack of Goblin Quest. It's a hack of Sean Bean Quest, which is a hack of Goblin Quest, and it's called Sean Sean's Bean Star in a Very Northern Christmas. <laughs> I wrote it last night. <laughs> so this will be the playtest. <laughs> <laughs> Outing. If you would like a free copy of the game, it is available in my hands. And I've got I've got a whole spare copy, complete with nice photocopied pictures of Sean being there, <laughs> which are all in the public domain. <laughs> so, good lord. Yeah, don't, don't don't read through the whole thing now. It wouldn't be great. <clears throat> it's not great TV, I don't think. Oh yes, I'll also say, please, um, if you are watching this, you enjoy this. If you are Sean Bean. And even if you're not Sean Bean, please do donate to mine. It's a great cause. Um, and money, please. And I'll keep, I'll, I'll be saying that about 20 minute, 30 minute intervals, uh, just to make sure that money comes in. So, hang on a sec. Just one thing which I still haven't cleared up. Why are you dressed as a cow? Is it a podcast thing? Uh, is that one of the characters in this Magnus Archives thing I've heard? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. Is there a cow in the yes! Magnus Archives? There's a good cow. Well, yeah. It just comes in and eats through the archives. That would be probably uh, preferable to what happens. Oh, is it a scary yeah. cow? No, no. Good cow! No! Oh, sorry, sorry. Can, so can more of you shout at once? Because yeah, I nearly heard. <laughs> what kind of cow is it, everyone? Very much not for me. <laughs> so welcome to Sean's Bean Star in a Very Northern Christmas. I'm going to read the intro text of a Batum. Um, so you know, strap in for that. I will say there's a lot of high concept stuff right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> know this! Sean Bean is an ancient being. Back when the world was young, a cosmic demon witch cursed him. Time after time, he has been slain and re-emerged from a dimensional portal in Yorkshire. <laughs> Only if he survives to the end of a film will the curse be lifted and he'll be allowed to die a final time on his own terms. But this has never happened. <laughs> no more! The Shawns gather. 
get into that high concept stuff here. <laughs> Hurled from beyond time and space, they muster their forces for the final confrontation, starring in the Netflix Christmas special, A Very Northern Christmas. They infiltrate the set and take up positions in the camera, script writing, props, set decoration and craft services crews. Can the Sean's Bean satisfy the strange demands of the Netflix production team and avoid having funding cut and production shut down? <laughs> and as the line between fiction and reality breaks down, can at least one of them avoid the grisly deaths that await them at every turn? <laughs> Let's find out together. <laughs> so we're going to need to get some characters. Now, I did have my original thing. We'll do this beforehand in bulk to save time, but I arrived seven minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to a bus diversion. Yeah, just pelting down the road. I was oh. like, who's that? <laughs> oh, it's him. <laughs> Finally. So, I'm going to need you to roll a d6 and a d8. Now, Mike told me we had dice. And something to roll in. Oh, wow. All mod cons. All right, we've got two of each dice. <laughs> That'll do us. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks for, you know, that's, that's cool. Do you need more? Yes, yeah, thanks, Barry. Bring them on, bring them on. Mate, you got? Thank you. Thanks. Oh, great, love it. Oh, hey, the gay dice again! <laughs> right, that should be fine. That's good. We need extra D6s. Um, so, D8, D6, please tell me what your bean type is <laughs> and the means of your inevitable death. Okay. Oh, there's so many, though. Uh, I am... Um, a Sean Bean. <laughs> what are your proficiencies? Voiceovers, interviews, <laughs> and product endorsements. <laughs> and how will you die? Uh, I will be impaled on something sharp. Very good. <laughs> Please note this down. That's cute. Now I will say, you'll be doing this each five times. <laughs> As each of your Sean's Bean die, another will emerge from hiding to replace him. <laughs> As long as one survives at the end of the film, you'll be allowed to die on your own terms. <laughs> a Christmas miracle! <laughs> I think this is, this is what Christmas is really about. <laughs> Sean Bean's glorious death. That's a four. I am Spy Bean. I am ruthlessness, ingenuity and stealth. All things I cannot do. <laughs> And my death is impaled on something sharp. Mm. Yes. Probably the same thing. I am Stark Bean. No, mate, you're Sexy Bean. No, I'm Sexy Bean. <laughs> Impeccable jawline charm carrying you away from all of this is in his big strong arms. Ooh. Uh, definitely. <laughs> Something involving animals. Yeah! <laughs> oh, like the cow. <laughs> you couldn't write it. Grant. I did. <laughs> so, the rules are very straightforward. Uh, every time you every time you attempt so I, I should also say, you have to kind of write the film. The film is also kind of happening. There are other actors involved, but it's, it's, it's operating in this weird semi-dimensional space of these things are happening, but also it is a film. After every act, I will play the producers and they will have additional demands. I have a D12 table for what they want more of. So. <laughs> in your, did you just get the bit where it said they want more dogs? Yes, yeah. that's why I'm <laughs> So. To very briefly explain the rules. When you do a thing, you roll a d6. Okay. If it is within your beam proficiencies, you roll a d8 instead. Okay. If your action brings you closer to your inevitable death, you roll an additional d6. You interpret all the dice rolled on this handy dandy table here. On a one or a two, you take an injury, and if you're injured twice, you die. Oh my god. It's very, it's very likely that you'll die straight off the bat. <laughs> On a three to four, an event occurs. Something interesting happens, you tell us what, and the next player to act on that thing rolls an extra d6. And on a five or more, you subtract one from the task difficulty. Once the task difficulty reaches zero, it's completed. Task difficulties go from one to five. I might tell you, I might just make it up as I go along. Okay. Any questions? No. Good. 
I was only speaking for me. Other people can have questions. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm um, not going to bother with questions. I will say also. Um, so, oh, also, one nearly forgot. The amulet of the chosen one. <laughs> the player who can do the best Sean Bean impression gains an amulet token at the start of play. Oh, no. Uh, I need an amulet. Can we, can we use that Santa hat? That would work for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, no, I mean the big one. Ben. Oh, okay. I was going to... Okay. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, I wonder where else you could put it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yet. <laughs> Helen's big filthy. Helen, Helen, <laughs> Helen, you'll upset the Americans. <laughs> oh well, never mind. We already had talks about cocaine earlier. I saw. <laughs> I know. What if their kids find out, find out about it in, in between the murder? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, the player who can do the best Sean Bean impression, so take it off, you haven't earned it. <laughs> gets the amulet. And the amulet here is a Santa hat. Um, while wearing the Santa hat, you are your Sean Bean, your current Sean Bean, is considered to be the film's protagonist. When that when you die. When the Sean Bean dies, another Sean Bean must rush forward and pick up the hat, and they will then be the film's protagonist. <laughs> you will also be all the extras and catering, filming it, etc. I will play every non Sean Bean NPC. <laughs> so, Ben, can I please hear your best Sean Bean impression? Throughout history, man has wanted two things to die at the end of the film and society. <laughs> Was, that was Sean Bean as from the beginning of Civilization VI. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Helen, you're from there. No, I'm not! I'm <laughs> Sheffield is in Yorkshire and I am from Lincolnshire. Oh. And also. <laughs> not the only one who's got beef. It's all, just, it's all just dead trees and wolves up there, it's fine. That is a lie, there's a theatre. <laughs> <laughs> the one theatre in New York. Folks that travel for weeks to reach it. <laughs> oh, I lived in Sheffield for a year as well. It's nice oh, though. What's a good Sean Bean? What, look, there's like a lead in line for accents, isn't there? So what's one for Sean Bean? Um, bastard. I'm, I'm oh, bastard. wait. What was that? <laughs> Can't say that on the stream, can we? Oh! Well, we did. And twice. Illegitimate yeah, son. <laughs> uh, John Snow, you're my illegitimate son. <laughs> John, you gotta get me out of this barrel. I'm gonna snow. Alright. Oh, John Snow. Um, uh, I'm terribly sorry. Martin. Martin, yes, the cow has replaced everything. Yeah, it's gonna write down your name. We'll answer to the cow. On motion. I'm not gonna you. call you the cow. <laughs> um, so, Martin, please. You, you've, been, you've been doing one since we started, but can we please get some sort of, um, you know. If being... you're gonna drink one type of tea today, you should drink Yorkshire tea. <laughs> So, <laughs> that was Sean Bean from the Yorkshire Tea. Yeah, very recent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm really glad that as I don't have to do a Sean Bean impression as the GM, which is good. But you will have to, you will have to stop me. So, uh, can I get a round of applause, please? For <laughs> <laughs> can I just ask a round of applause? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Thank you for your enthusiasm, but not yet. So. Um, I'm going to point at Ben, and then Helen, and then the cow. And I want, I want, to, round, I, I want to hear your enthusiasm for, for their, um, you know, Sean-ness. I'm, I'm intrigued to see how high you can go. That's Helen, that's Helen. Helen, Sean oh. I can't do accents though, I don't know how this is happening. We just want oh, it's the sarcastic applause. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one they enjoyed the most. I'll take that. <laughs> so, we arrive on set of A Very Northern Christmas. Okay. And again, if there are any questions about whether this is a film or whether this is actually happening, yes. <laughs> it's like a dream I had. What the yeah. <laughs> yeah, just pretend it's a dream you're having. So. This whole day. In act one. 
we meet our hero, Martin Beck, a Santa Claus impersonator. We, or I guess like, Grotto Man? Anyway. <laughs> we also meet the hero's love interest, Henrietta Hetty Stonecastle, and mentor, Harold Moore. So what's, uh, what's Martin Beck up to on a standard, on a standard morning in the North? <laughs> um, and also, how are the rest of you, how are the other two of you helping support this? Helping support this scene? Okay. Um, I think that Martin Beck, who is... So, right, so Martin Beck is a spy bean, right? Uh, you are a spy bean. Martin Beck is the character you are playing. <laughs> you know that I okay, can okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. all at a okay. time! <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Let me explain. This is really straightforward. Sean Bean is older than the Earth itself. <laughs> and, it, and also, for the purposes of this, Sean Bean is 15 people. Okay. All of them are Sean Bean. You are one fifteenth of this, the avatar of Spy Bean, or Trevelyan from that Bond film. Oh. <laughs> so, however, you are also an actor playing Martin Beck, a rough and tumble Santa Claus impersonator from the North. Why have you done this to me? You knew that I'd be making this game. You were so excited I when was I said Sean Bean. <laughs> I said Sean Bean Quest, you were like, oh yeah! And now you're terrified to do an impression and you can't handle the idea that Sean Bean is an actor. <laughs> All right, fine, mm -hmm. fine. Martin Beck mm -hmm. is going to um, go and sleep with the director. <laughs> Smash cut to the director's office. <laughs> Martin, you're a character in the film. But I like your moxie. Why have you come here today? Because I like your moxie. I see, this is pretty kinky. Call it Sean or should I call you Martin? Whichever you prefer. <laughs> Kiss me, Sean. <laughs> Gladly. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, I love it. Mm. Please roll me a d6. <laughs> so, uh, so yes. So, so hang on. So just real quick. Just so what's that? You're you're gonna try and seduce the director. Yeah. For why? So the um, so they don't they don't decide that I die uh. in the film. <laughs> That's how Hollywood works. Okay. And Sean Bean has actually okay. broken up with every director of every film, okay. which is why so, he dies. Okay, six. Yeah. So, yes. Progress. Progress! <laughs> the director. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've lit, I've lit a second cigarette in my other hand. <laughs> I was going to have you killed in the first act. It was going to be very dodgeous <laughs> for the film protagonist to die in the first act. But no, I might leave you alive for a while. Unless you, Sean Bean, meet with any unfortunate injuries, which may well be the point of the game, Helen. I plan to survive. Director. Oh, kiss me again. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> we move on to the first scene. <laughs> Filming begins on day one. <clears throat> Helen? Yeah? You're here with uh, Henrietta Hetty Stonecastle. You right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I heard a bang and Anil just doing this. <laughs> he's, been, he's been shot before. <laughs> he's double hard. So. <sighs> Mike, you knew the rest, sir. <laughs> Martin, says, says Hetty. Oh, Martin, 
None of the kids are coming to Grosso anymore. It's nearly Christmas and your lap is bare. I wonder why this could be. <laughs> you are not sexy being Helen, you're spy bean, but okay. Spies are inherently sexy. Um, yeah, validation from the audience. Of <laughs> yours, GM. They have no power here. I think you'll find. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure. No, you're right. Okay. Um, Martin. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I just realised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna cross that mountain and call you the cow. <laughs> okay. um, it's not like Rusty Pearl's known for name redundancy. <laughs> <laughs> Accidental name redundancy. Yeah, um, Martin's gonna go and wait, wait, wait. So the other two beans, <laughs> like, are they also here? Yes. Go what are you doing? Busy. Uh, <laughs> Any part of film production or indeed investigating this as though it was a real mystery, both are applicable. Right, the smouldering in the background looking sexy. <laughs> Baking tea. Behind, <laughs> behind craft services <laughs> table. Making sure everyone's got danishes. Behind craft services be. <laughs> ben? Yes. What well, um, So. <laughs> So I asked what they were doing because I wanted to convene the beans. <laughs> With the, the bean conch. <laughs> bean conch? <laughs> bean conch! But by all means, convene the beans. <laughs> Cut, says the director. <laughs> it seems like no one's worked out the script for this part. <laughs> Hetty, come over here. Come over here and have a chat with me about, about what the plot is. Does Beans anyone convened. want a cup of tea? <laughs> you were drinking a cup of tea seconds ago in your mind. I know. Oh, I've gone through it. <laughs> Finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bean, convene. Now, what's the problem with this? That seemed like a perfectly fine scene. Right? Scene B. Just, yes. <laughs> The scene of beans has been seen, and it's been seen to be fine. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that I've got a name that's just very confusing. We all have that name. I know. We've all been there. <laughs> just get, just get, get out of your system in the first half hour, yeah? And we can watch. I think you'd need to run this for like 12 hours before it gets out of our system. All right. Right, so at this point, you've managed to get a director to say no death for Sean Bean in first act, right? Yeah. Good one. Okay, so what now we've got to do is just make sure director don't kill us off in act two, act three, act four, and act five. That shouldn't be a problem. Well, <laughs> I think he might get tired. <laughs> and he seems very intent on doing something weird and avant garde. <laughs> Creative freedoms allowed on Netflix. <laughs> A single 15 hour epic like Bandersnatch. <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> I always hold three cigarettes in each hand. It's his trademark. Mm. You got a better idea? No. Just complete the scene, Sean Bean. <laughs> Outside, you can see children wandering around. No, actually, you don't see children wandering around. That's like two. <laughs> there are no children here. Outside, a car pulls up. A big luxury car. A big evil car. And outside steps the villain of the piece, Lord Tory Alfredton. <laughs> Oh. Ew. <laughs> this must be the north I've heard so much about. It's very bleak here, and there's far too many wolves. Pull them out of the wheel arches, driver. Oh. I'm going to examine my new factory, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> he puts on a second top hat. <laughs> Gets out both of his canes. 
Not from a like disability point of view. It's just like because they're both very expensive. To hit the poor with. <laughs> Double wielding. He's going in there like Krav Maga. Um, and he he perambulates conservatively <laughs> into the factory. And on the outside of the factory is written Santor. S A N T R. Like it was an app. Ah. Isn't that where you can meet different Santas and go on dates with them? You have an happy Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh. Martin, 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 the Martin, I was, I was, I was told you were good. You were very much okay. okay. I, I'm, I'm worried. Are you okay? I'm very hot. The, the puns. <laughs> <laughs> God, you, God, you're running warm. Do you want to, do you want to like hop out the cow costume? It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We don't just sing any stripper songs, but... Ooh, I am sexy bee now. Uh, <laughs> you are belted in. Do you want, maybe... I could do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, While that's happening. There there, oh, there, oh, there we are. Sexy bean and real bean takes his cards. Away. Cow from West Down! <laughs> there we go. It'll be back, but when I'm under less lights. <laughs> oh, you still have a bell on, I like it. <laughs> That's I, his. I came with the piano. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sex thing. So. Can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Harold Moore arrives behind you. Mm. Oh, Sean. Yep. Oh, Martin, that's your character's name. I'm worried about this new Lord Tory Alfredton who's coming in. I reckon he's got vile schemes afoot. Well, every lord does. Fair. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you reckon as the protagonist of the film you'll do anything? <laughs> I'm gonna go beat him up. <laughs> Steady on, it's not act three yet. <laughs> but all right, tell you what, Sean. Why don't you go and have a look inside his factory? Yeah, and it. see what's what. I can find some secret plans because I'm a spy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. I think this operation will need some catering. I'll go along and help. <laughs> <laughs> I need lots of tea. Pushing a tea truck. Yeah, the trolley. And if you're not trolley, dears, I say it sexily. <laughs> I think you'll also need a lot of, you know, spy technology. So what I'll do is I'll ensconce myself in the tea trolley with all of these lovely, <laughs> lovely, helpful products which I can endorse <laughs> and then give to you after explaining carefully why you, yes, you, would like to buy them. I'm on board. Good. And I'm on board this tea trolley. <laughs> All aboard the tea trolley. <laughs> Cut! Yells the director. <laughs> that were perfect! <laughs> I love the establishment. No? I love the way you establish things. I'm actually quite anti establishment given the very strange nature of this production. <laughs> now, love it. I've received some notes from the producers. Produces. He gestures over to an unmarked black van. <laughs> <laughs> They, they're in there, they won't come out, but ever, eh, what, eh, burp. After every act, the window rolls down a fraction of an inch, and I'm given a thing they want more of. <laughs> this time, they want more... Sidekicks? <laughs> We've already got two! <laughs> right, let's, let's round up some children. Christmas... <laughs> Not like that! I think in a some Santa in way! We'll probably get some children in from the factory. I think the Lord, the Lord probably has some working under, in, in there somewhere. That's true, that does feel like a Lord Tory Alfredson sort of move. Mm. Gonna be real hard to pitch that one as funny, guys. <laughs> 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 All right, you know, I'll probably work it out, yeah. Um, no, uh, outside, there are a, uh, outside the factory, there are a series of street children doing northern activities. Uh, poops and sticks. And poops, kind of stuff. sticks. Yeah. Um, Eating Yorkshire pudding. Yes. 
General Ta Flat Cappery. Yes. <laughs> Helen, what, what is it like up there? It's really nice, actually. They're, they're doing standard Northern Christmas stuff, like being nice to each other and understanding the importance of family. Yeah! There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our families are dead, though. <laughs> <laughs> You can in join the, In this world, my family is not dead. No, okay. That, by the way, that's a deep cut. <laughs> like, in, in the, in the, I only ever complain about how you only ever, like, you kill your parents yeah. in all of my games I run at home. Yes, exactly. But not on stream. Yeah. Okay. On stream, we're family friendly, which means no families are dead. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, all our families are missing. <laughs> Presumed <laughs> dead. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. So you're presumed orphans. Oh, oh dear. Schrodinger's tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell you what. Yeah. We'll be your dads now. <laughs> Three dads. Three strong northern craggy dads. Oh, that's all I've ever wanted. Well, yeah, that's more than I've ever wanted. <laughs> Precisely one more than I've ever wanted. <laughs> now. What Shall do we have to do, dads? Well, children, have you ever heard of this delicious product called can- no. <laughs> Change the name a bit, Dad. Greg Sausage Rolls. <laughs> now I'm going to give each of you a shiny Greg Sausage Roll. If you'll go into that factory and find out what that evil Lord Tory Alfredton is doing, and also run interference while we also do that to involve ourselves in this scene. Make a roll, please. I this will. would be a D8. D8. And Sorry. does this bring you any closer to getting impaled? Uh, I'm going into a factory, mm. which I assume is full of sharp things on which to become impaled. Okay. Uh, I got ooh, a nice, healthy 11. Nice, healthy. You do not add them together. Oh, sorry, I, I got an 8. So that's one success. And something happens. Something complicates this. What happens to complicate this? Um, we enter the factory, if I'm allowed to add that complication. The children enter the factory. The children enter the factory, mm -hmm. and inside uh, we just hear uh, wondrous um, calls of, So many present spikes! It's lovely! <laughs> <laughs> They're gift wrapping! This <laughs> oh, oh, just like Mum used to keep the presents on spikes! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the traditional northern way! <laughs> and chest height for adults! <laughs> and head height for children! <laughs> Oh dear. Luckily, I, as a scrappy orphan, can scamper harmlessly through these, but I hope no 50 year old actors are around. <laughs> 55? I forget. Anyway. I can, I can, I can, 60? Look, I can play. Oh, he looks 40. good for it. Yeah. Does, does he? He does. He's not what? I. Well, I mean, not, not you. No, I'm, I'm several orphans. <laughs> <laughs> the children scamper in. And you can see they are, uh, they are getting immersed amongst the present spikes. It seems like there's a lot of presents in here you can overhear. And you, indeed, uh, uh, in, in fact, you need to infiltrate next. All right. Uh, so how's, I, I think I'm going to try and seduce one of the uh, watchmen to try and get hold of, to try and get into the surveillance. Very good. Very good. There are, there are Tory watchmen. Uh, all of them look like Jacob Reese Mogg. Ooh. I hope none of them fall into spikes. <laughs> Probably go for a burlier watchman, but I like it. <laughs> a gangly, slender man esque creature. <laughs> I, c I can't do a decent Reese Mogg impression. Um, <laughs> Just act like you're what, what on earth do you want? Hello, I've got lots of money under my clothes. Would you like to? <laughs> Would you like to come take them off so that you can acquire the money? It's been acquired nefariously, just like you like it. <laughs> Couldn't I just pay you to take the clothes off and give me the money? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? So, uh, please roll. Um, it, what, what's your means of death? Something involving animals? Uh, something involving animals, yeah. So, I will say, feel free to supply on details, like your spikes, <laughs> or indeed, like, you want to be like, oh, there's a load of guard dogs, you know, that's fine. Oh, congrats! I did it. <laughs> if there's one thing I love more than money, it's naked poor people. <laughs> that I'm responsible for. Come with me into the sexatorium. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I've, I've had a new really good game, which is watching Mike's face as we continue to <laughs> Inside the NHS Sexatorium. <laughs> All brushed steel and paper napkins. Those, those paper sheets you pull over things. Donate to mine, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just talking about the realities of the, of the political situation in Britain today. Tory funded sexatorium. No, no, the Tories don't fund anything, that's, uh, that's the point. True, yeah. That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Our sexatoriums are drastically underfunded. <laughs> <laughs> propelling yourself after he's distracting the guy. I think so, yeah. Yeah. There's just like a little like, there's a couple of wooden spoons either side, but I'm just <laughs> plastic stirrups. Oh that's it, yeah. I'm using those little those little sticks I use for tea but they keep breaking, so I keep having to get new ones as I go. <laughs> Leave, leaving, leaving a tray. <laughs> leaving a tray. We can follow it to get out again. <laughs> um Okay, Helen, so that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Ben, what are you up to? <laughs> Right, so we're trying to find out what Lord uh, Tory Alfreton is up to. Mm -hmm. Right, kids, it's me, the tea trolley. Oh, hello. <laughs> Have you seen anything suspicious within this factory full of spikes <laughs> that's more suspicious than a factory full of spikes? <laughs> There's a load of mysterious server rooms. Server rooms? Down in basement. Like for giving tea? Uh. <laughs> also that. Oh, lovely. Right, oh. Over brew. Right, down we go. I'm getting more northern. You are! That's good. Starting to go towards Newcastle. <laughs> oh, sorry. You was hovering around Scotland before and I was a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> the veracity of my accents is impeccable. When I ran, when I ran this in Australia, everyone just went pirate. 
<laughs> so this, this is going much better. <laughs> it's me, Sean B. <laughs> and I'm here to save the Nah. All right. Um, you descend deep into the. Um, well, you, you're, you're still on the spike. You, you get the spike out your leg, and you're, right. you're bleeding heavily from the thigh. That's fine. Um, and you descend down. All in a day's work as an actor. You descend yes. down into the server rooms. Yeah. And you can see acres and acres of glowing machines. I say glowing machines, computers, with lights on that are blinking in different patterns. The, the warm, thank you, the warm hum of uh, computer noise happens. Fans, that's the one, happens. <laughs> and standing on top of plinth, you can see Lord, no, not the, no, it's plinth, yeah, I said it. Standing on top of plinth, drinking a cup of tea. But the wrong kind of tea, probably oh. like Earl Grey or Lapsang Souchong or some Tory tea. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Grey. If you try, if you try to drink it, it just slip right out the side of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's there. He, he's there drinking his tea. Mm. Finally, my plans for Christmas domination of the North will be complete. No more traditional grottos for these awful urchins to go into and tell their secrets to unregulated Santa impersonators. Now, with my new Santa app. <laughs> Is that the mime was a little far away? Oh, yeah. Now, with my new Santa app, they'll be able to communicate wirelessly with offshore Santa operators. <laughs> Taking important jobs out of the UK. <laughs> Not that. Mm, hang on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get past the grant isn't against international business. <laughs> he thinks that's cool, but I'm a real horrible man, and I'm taking jobs away from Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> he throws the. The, the half full cup of hot tea into the face of a nearby poor person. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to. Oh, oh, I have ruthlessness as a thing, so I'm going to go and try and like, kill him in a really horrible way. <coughs> okay, what you got? Um, Which is fine, by the way, kids. That's absolutely cool. Murder, super cool, but my God, don't, no swears. Go on. <laughs> Don't you dare mention a winky. On <laughs> God would be very angry if you said winky. I am going to stab him repeatedly with the shards of the teacup. <laughs> Rising up <laughs> from the shadow of the poor person. <laughs> Let it be a lesson to him. Uh, please roll me uh, murder. So that's uh, that's D8, um, and I'm gonna yeah. You're on top of a plinth. There's lots of impalement opportunities. So that's, that's another D6. Oh, a two. Yes, a D8 and a D6. I think that's a D10. No. No. Okay, you die. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> cool. You are horrifically impaled whilst trying to climb up uh, the plinth, but an event occurs. What happens? Um, can I still stab him? No. Can the plinth fall over? Yes. Okay. I want that to happen. It's and I want, I want him to be at least break a bone or like damage, damage the his, computers. Yeah, damage the computers. Yes, okay, cool. With his own face. <laughs> he broke his face bone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> his face bone. Oh no, my precious voice will be ruined. <laughs> My nasal cavities are full of computer. <laughs> uh, the plinth topples over. There's a crash. Um, you, uh, so yeah, it shears off at the bottom. The, you tumble down just like that bit in, um, in Goldeneye. Oh, yeah. uh, and get uh, through, through, right, through the, right through the important bits. Uh, Please roll up another bean. Okay, so that's another eight and another six. Yes, that is your first bean gone. That's fine, no more spy bean. Oh, I'm no longer the protagonist. He's been and gone. Oh my god, Martin! <laughs> I'll turn the stream around. <laughs> Do you want to 
to be protagonist. Oh. Oh. So, sorry, one of you has to actually get the hell of his corpse. Oh, oh sorry, oh. not just Helen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on, give oh, me. Oh. Okay, cool. So, um, Sean Bean's co- Spy Bean's corpse is impaled on the on the server floor, and the hat is uh, dangling excitingly. Which one of you is going to grab it and become the protag? I'll have a go. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll be watching the, the feed from the security room and I'll see everything that goes on. I'll be like, oh, a hat, I'll go get that. And then uh, <laughs> wander down to the server room and uh, I'll just try and I'll just clamber question. and get Are it. Are there any animals nearby? Uh, I mean, there's, other than the dead Tory, the security oh. <laughs> What about um, the cooling pigs, which rub on the dead? <laughs> We found coolant to be too expensive, <laughs> so we use naturally sourced pigs. They oh, rub us against. Other than those, yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah, there are a bunch of coolant pigs right. scrubbing around here, so just, just be wary of that, yeah? So that's, uh, that's a, uh, a 2d6. 2d6. That is. And just before you find out what Martin has rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello, everyone! Seedless! Wow. So wow. just to let you know, we've just hit two thousand pounds. Now So because we've hit two grand, what that means is you guys have unlocked the next thing! <laughs> so at two thousand pounds, at some point later in the stream, me and Bryn are gonna have a dance off. Yeah. <laughs> But for right now, please may I welcome Alex Newell, who's going to come and show us cat pictures. <laughs> so this is a thing. Uh, I don't really know what pictures we've got. I didn't provide these, so I'm going to be riffing in real time with y'all. So that's that's going to be fun. Or, or no pictures will come up, so I'll just describe <laughs> pictures to everyone. Let's we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I'm kind of just going to keep vamping. How's my voice? <laughs> we good? Do we want it closer? Do we want it chocolate? Got a little bit of Persian. I've been told this because he has a specific term. Hey, there we go. Right, okay, now we're going. This is this is one of the weirdest gigs I have had (laughs) (laughs) by a significant margin, and I've done some real weird gigs. Um, Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna have to jump in the descriptions. I believe this is when we were filming our. uh, Patreon appeal video where everyone had oh, yeah. to pretend to be spontaneous and cheerful and interesting and funny people. Uh, and also there was a cat there um, who is also wearing a collar, which I don't understand because he's managed to lose seven. Uh, we thought it'd be a ca- clever idea to get one of those quick release ones with the, uh, you know, the really, really posh, really nice, really thin, uh, 15 minutes. Uh, and then we thought we saw another cat carrying it. So that happened. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is what Casper's main problem is, which is that within the studio, he'll immediately set up shop underneath Bryn's chair. Bryn's chair, <laughs> chair is, um, but specifically Bryn's chair, and we don't know why. Um, and what's worse is he also, on more than one occasion, and this is news for Bryn, has smeared himself on Bryn's pop filter. Um, so we have had to clean the pop filters, swap the pop filters out, uh, but Bryn more than once may have been going, oh, I'm just a bit sniffing, I don't know why, so I've been cat bum on your pop filter. <laughs> By the way, I'm just going to keep filling time, so the slower these go, the weirder this is going to get. So I'm, I'm, this is on you, this is on you. More cat bum content. More, ca- more cat bum content. <laughs> Hashtag cat bum. <laughs> I, I, am, I mean, it's not that thrilling an image, if I'm honest. Like, it's, 
it's a solid six, you know. Um, it's not like that time he stole me a pork chop, real story. <laughs> I must have said, I've said that on a, on a recording, right? Okay, uh, I'll keep riffing then, here you go. So, uh, Casper the Cat, you know cats have this thing where how it works, real, real simple. Um, if a cat thinks you're incompetent at life, they will start fetching you feed, food to eat. If you're really incompetent, it's the dead. Picture, yeah. If you're <laughs> kind of competent, it's kind of alive. And if it's really competent, if it's like, oh, you can hunt, you get like, you know, mice and live birds and so on. So what I got fetched is, uh, first one live thing was like, no, get, get rid of it. It was perfectly fine. It's all good. Um, so it kind of meows, goes a bit weird, meows, goes a bit weird. And then after like, call it half an hour, it's just weird behavior. He suddenly turns up and he's dragging something. I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, my cat believes I am so incompetent <laughs> that what I require is, and this is, I swear to God, true, a marinated <laughs> pork loin <laughs> with a nice cheesy top, um, no bite marks because he was dragging it with claws, and he dropped it in front of me and wouldn't stop basically howling and <laughs> so he just picked it up and, and kind of took a bite. Um, so someone somewhere out there where we live had their barbecue raided, <laughs> had their dinner taken from a plate and brought to me, and um, that's a thing that happened. Thank you very I can keep talking to you about anything if you want. That was lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Terribly sorry, I've disrupted your your standard tune in and stuff. Your no, I'm not sorry. At all. I'm not sorry at all. Um, all, that, all that charity <laughs> got in the way. Sorry, all that charity got in the way. Which Very charity, rude. Ben? What? Mind, the mental health charity. <laughs> that's the one. So, if you guys would be so kind as to donate to Mind, that would be great. We are doing this all for charity, after all. So, remember the donation link is the one that says "Donate to Mind." It's just under the, in the Twitch feed. It's just underneath the feed. Or, or for you guys here, you can either go direct to Just Giving if you want to, or alternatively, you can go onto Twitch and it's still there. Just hit that and stick in as much as you like. Thank you very much, everyone. Back to the game. <laughs> like a one hour marker. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I knew that running a live, you know, running a live game for a charity stream in front of an audience would provide some unique challenges in, with regards to pacing. <laughs> but having Alex turn up and vamp for five minutes about his cat. <laughs> wish I wasn't aware that was a thing. <laughs> no one was like, hey, hey, BT dubs girl, I'm on a, I'm on, anyway, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> you got a lovely cat. Um, it's a catastrophe. It's your own time you're wasting. <laughs> I'll keep you here through lunch. <laughs> you were mauled by a pig. <laughs> uh, the pig gets its gets its horrible under teeth in your arm as you're as you're reaching for the hat. But you but you do get that hat. Yes. Congratulations, protagonist Bean. The sexiest protagonist that there's ever been. <laughs> Stop throwing it back in my face, man! I'm extending you an olive branch. You're making jokes about olives. Right. <coughs> Who are you now? Me? I am Sharp Bean which is combat, toughness, and provoking others. Which is kind of what I was doing before, so I'm just mm -hmm. going to continue doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and how are you going to die? I'm going to be hung from the neck until dead. <laughs> Cut! Yells the director. I'm not sure if that actor's actually... No, it's a different voice. I'm not sure if that actor's actually dead, I can't tell. Not this one, the guy who fell off the plane. Anyway, point is, point is, I've received another note from the producers. The orphans, fine. Testing well with audiences. Apparently, we're testing this as we go. We're live streaming it. <laughs> Very avant-garde. <laughs> now, I've received another missive from the mysterious black van, and this time they want more historical accuracy. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
the Queen's been testing very well. <laughs> Everyone loves that. Claire Foy, brilliant. So, we can't get Claire Foy, but I want you to start doing history facts. Okay? Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. For the nerds. Did a documentary about trains once, be fine. That was an advert for trains. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say advert, I say it. Very short documentary. I think it was actually a train simulator. <laughs> so it won't even real train. Anyway, I love it. Brilliant. Now in Act 3, I believe Mar uh, Martin acts against the villain, but is defeated. What happens, and why isn't Martin strong enough? Hmm, intriguing. We come back to the dilapidated grotto yeah. in the north. Hetty's there, nursing your wounds, uh, which you sustained in the fight. Yeah, from the pigs. From the pigs. <laughs> the pig fight. Um, oh, Martin. Oh, I can't believe you got mauled by server pigs. Oh, it's, it's, I've been through worse. Have you? Yes. Okay. Like that time in history when that, <laughs> that, that happened. Oh, you should be more specific, darling. Ooh. Just make it up. Come on, pick Coal it. mines. <laughs> Go on. I was in a coal mine that collapsed in history. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. But, see, but you're all right now. I'm fine now. <laughs> Could you hazard a guess as to the decade? The olden days. Ah. <laughs> Harold Moore walks in. Um, ben, can you play Harold Moore, please? Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, sorry, the actor playing Harold Moore died. Oh, no. Uh, so now Sean Bean has to play Harold Moore. Oh, it's me, Harold Moore. <laughs> What's my role in this? Check his notes. You're his mentor. All oh, right, that's it. Right. You, uh, you, 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 you've been santering since the 60s. <laughs> or 20s, depending on when this was set. <laughs> Servers, I guess. So yeah, the 60s. Yeah. Right. yeah. Just uh, fish a cigarette out of my beard. <laughs> Martin! Still lit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's asbestos beard, we're in the same okay. yeah. <laughs> Martin! Yes! That were awful! Oh, I know. You're telling me about this act that's going to replace us? In the 60s as well, yes. Yeah, really, really forward thinking, honestly, quite progressive, but, you know. Right, it's gone now. Right. Oh, oh, lots of. Oh. Anyway, I'm here to teach you an important life lesson about santering. I'm ready to hear it. Well, you've been running around in your big Santa outfit, but it's been mauled and torn up by pigs. It's not good for the children anymore. There's loads of pig oh. saliva Those and server juice. Those pigs should be in their blankets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, please, the director's at his limit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> I can handle it. <laughs> well... I've come here to tell you that don't despair. The Santa costume on the outside isn't the one that matters. It's the Santa costume on the inside. Aww. That's good, I'm a mentor. I'm supposed to get that kind of reaction. I'm nailing it, almost swore. Good job, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking nailing it. <laughs> come from behind, home run. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the way you say it, Sean. I mean, mentor. <laughs> My name's Harry. Harry. Harold. <laughs> His name's on sheep. It is. Harold. <laughs> Next to word, mentor. Go on. <laughs> oh, the way you said that, Harold, it's, it's filled me up with warmth. I'm ready to, I'm ready to Santa. Right. The proper way. You know, if Lord Alfred, Tory Alfredson, takes away your costume, leaves you beating and broken on the side of the street, you can still win against him yes. because he don't know what Christmas really means. And he don't know what Santa really is. We smash cut to the scriptwriter's room where you have broken it. Yeah. Um, you are sharp beam. Yes. So I have a sword. <laughs> you have a permanent marker. <laughs> <laughs> so, the third act. Interesting. A lot of feelings, not enough action. How are we going to get them pushing forward? I'm looking to you. Chief script, script writer. We have an explosion. Interesting. Go on. Where? In the grotto. Yeah. Oh. And they've got to find out who set the bombs. Well, it was the Tory, presumably. I mean, Tory Alfredton. 
Uh, well, we can yeah. find out. I yeah. love it. Investigate the bummed out grotto. Mm. Smash cut back to the present day or film. The grotto explodes. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you each take you take a single point of damage. <laughs> 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 Can I please get a, uh, an escape a exploding grotto uh, uh, check, please? Yeah, that sounds good. You do! That's not hard. I d- uh, an event. I got what three. Um, what are you trapped under? Oh. The, um, the Christmas tree has been thrown into the air and is now... I'm on the floor and it's hanging <gasps> with this incredibly spiky star poised <gasps> above my heart and I can't move. And it's being held up by just a string of fairy lights. Is your, is your leg trapped under one of those girders that traps legs but doesn't damage them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, from songs? That, what's that doing in Grotto? <laughs> <laughs> it's made of steel. Ah, good Sheffield steel. Yeah! <laughs> Santa, Santa, for Christmas, I want one of them girders that you can trap your leg under. <laughs> now, just while I'm doing this, did you know that Sheffield had a thriving steel industry? <laughs> And Sheffield. Go on. Co- well, Sheffield. Co- Go on, Dad. Right. Well, and this is an important learning lesson. I think this so is a flashback now. What? Sit on my knee. Actually, actually, no, hang on, don't worry. I can wrap this into the scene. One of the orphans arrives and tries to get the girder off you. Oh. But it's too weak from its malnourished oh. arms. <laughs> there, <laughs> malnourished arms. It sits down on your lap or chest. <laughs> oh. Right. Well. Go on, Dad. Well, the reason the girder is too heavy right. is because it's very dense iron. Because oh. it's very good iron, because it's Sheffield iron. You're Is that su- good, dense? I, I think so. I'm not a steel worker, but I would be. <laughs> if I, There's no shame in that, Dad. If, exactly. If I hadn't become actor, I mean mentor of Santa's. <laughs> Which I guess, if you think about it, really is an actor. So if I became actor to avoid... Life in the steel mills, which is also fine, but just weren't for me. <laughs> now, can you please roll me an inspire child check, please? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a D8, I yeah, think, if you're Sean, Sean B. Yeah, I think that's a voiceover in it. Uh, yeah, and no. also, um, D6, because you're under a giant hanging <laughs> oh, Christmas yeah. tree. Yeah. There are spikes involved. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, dear. Another event. And, and, and an got, injury. Oh, oh, both happened. Yes, yes. both happened, okay, yes. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> the, 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 another girder uh, traps the <laughs> <laughs> Another girder on your other leg. Oh. Oh. This isn't one of those leg safe girders, though. Oh, no, it's probably not made of steel from Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> probably Sheffield from, oh, what's the county we hate? Lincolnshire? Lincolnshire? No, that's your one. Is it? Wait. Lincolnshire and Yorkshire don't get on, yeah. That's it. The one they keep making jokes about in Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Because of the War of the Roses, which is another historical Oh, Oh, Martin, you've only gone and done it. And by that, I mean Martin the actor, not Martin. Yeah, there's only so many many levels of meta this can take. (laughs) You wrote in, like, three levels of meta. It's three. That's how many levels it can take. (laughs) I'm Martin. Playing. <laughs> playing Martin. <laughs> playing Martin. Now playing Sean Bean. Playing Santa. Playing Santa. Playing Santa. <laughs> so it's true that was yeah. Okay, cool. So. I should put the cow costume back on to get <laughs> Nah, we're alright. So um, you uh, your leg is trapped under a non-leg safe girder. You're out alive, but you can see inside your mentor trapped. Oh, no, my mentor. It's like this was written for the film. <laughs> That's how scripts work traditionally. <laughs> I know they're using a teleprompter to give us new script edits live, which again, really avant garde and bold, Mr. Director. I like Oh, it. thank you very much. I was learning a lot from Douglas Adams. <laughs> Harold, let me try and sexily get you out. <laughs> I'll try and grease yourself up. Yeah, first that was it. To, <laughs> to help your grip. Yeah. To try, yeah, to try and like I'm slide between the girders and separate them out. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. What a weird image. I love it. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, oh, so that, that's a that's a single D8. Yeah. Right. Which one's the D8? Why that's did we put eight. so many dice that we don't use? Let's get rid of the one. It's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> an eight. Oh, that explodes. You can throw another one. Six. Oh, c- congrats! You put you put you greasily slip Whoa. off both girders. How, 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 did, how does it happen? Tell me about it. Um, it looks really beautiful, obviously, because I'm sexy mm-hmm. Sean Bean, um, <laughs> and uh, you're just standing there triumphantly holding the beam, um, and all the lights are kind of pointing upwards at. Like you can see, for some reason, he's not wearing a shirt anymore. 
Uh, so I said the grease would go better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. And he's just standing there triumphantly going, Harold, my mentor, I have oh, saved you. Thanks, Martin. Oh, thanks, Martin. You're welcome. I did tell have you a not. Cup of tea. I did tell you not to go to the gym because you wouldn't have a sort of sanitary physique. But boy, am I glad you did now. <laughs> <laughs> they said we'd never sell a, ri a ripped Santa down at <laughs> the grotto, but you I knew it would wrong. work. <laughs> you drag your mentor yeah. out of the burning grotto. <laughs> the girder's caught fire, did they? <laughs> Sure. But there's, there's some non gerda material. There's presents on present spikes. There's, oh, yeah. you know, stuffed reindeer, prosthetic tummies. <laughs> all sorts of things. Prosthetic tummies? Because he's ripped. Yeah. So he needs a big, oh, a big... Yeah. I thought he just meant like hanging in the grotto. <laughs> things were different in North when yeah. I was growing up. What's what's present it? spikes. <laughs> what's the theme this year? Oh, we went for murder basement, actually. <laughs> Got a load of mannequins covered in pig's blood. <laughs> it's dead festive. We smash back to the writer's room. Okay, cool. So, love it. Brilliant. Huge fan. Now, after the explosion, what happens after that? Uh, how about... <laughs> I can't do this accent. <laughs> You're the closest. What? Geographically the closest growing up. <laughs> How did, how did you get into the writer's room? What? Yeah, oh, sorry. get out, get out! I won't oh, even cross services. I was looking for the first aid tent, the leg's broken. <laughs> oh my god, he's stuck into the first <laughs> so, Somebody help this man, you help this man, he's got a broken leg. Oh, does he want a cup of tea? <laughs> I do actually. Oh, Good well, heavens. We'll leave this scene now, goodbye. What a disaster. <laughs> anyway, yes, go on. How about... Mm -hmm. So, back in Macedonian days... <laughs> <laughs> Alexander the Great... <laughs> I've been reading a lot about him lately, I want to say something. Go on, Sean, please. How about someone invades a city? <laughs> Sorry? Invade a city. Someone invades the city, director. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, Alexander the Great invades the city? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's not Lord, Lord, Alfred Tor Lord Tory Alfredson cosplaying as Alexander the Great. And then an army of people dressed as Macedonians. <laughs> <laughs> you know they ask for historical accuracy, not just historical things. <laughs> There were Macedonians. There were cosplayers. Not in Sheffield! Romans! 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 They mainly were Macedonians! That's the point, you conquered the world! Okay. Romans! 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 <laughs> yeah. We're talking yeah. about steel. Yeah, Sheffield history. You didn't specify Sheffield history. No, you're right, Helen. I bought this on myself. <laughs> yes, you did. Please roll me a. Um, please roll. Hey, no, because yeah, you're sharp bean, so like, that's warfare, isn't it? Yes. So that, that'll be that'll be a, that'll be a deal. I'm definitely being provoking. Mm-hmm. Okay. And. Um, Okay, eight and a six. And by the way, and again, I just want to straight you don't you don't roll a d6 unless, unless you're getting closer oh. to your uh, to your eventual means of death. So please feel free to describe getting closer to your eventual means of death in every action you do. Um, I am getting closer to my eventual means of death because I might get hung for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this is a very avant-garde production. <laughs> and I start, as such, we've brought in capital punishment. <laughs> In his rider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants to hang in every day. <laughs> and if he I simply can't act. Unless <laughs> someone's been hung from the neck until dead. <laughs> and it's oh. you! Oh! oh. Parawans! <laughs> Oh, it was my own fault. 
I brung this on a film. I watched too long of a film with Colin Farrell, <laughs> who inexplicably had an Irish accent. I think it's quite explicable, <laughs> seeing as he's from. <laughs> but why is he in Greece with an Irish accent, Grant? Oh, you've got me there. I do. So, Helen, <laughs> your character is killed by hanging. Yes! How many, how many beans do I get? You get five. So, okay, great. So, so you're, on your, you're on your third bean. This is great. through. Okay. Okay, so we received the script notes from the, uh, from the, from the writer's room. Mm -hmm. uh, it did result in a death. Oh. So I'm not sure we're going with this one, just out of respect for the family. Um, do you have any ideas for how you might act against the uh, Tory, uh, sorry, Lord Alfred Torrington? No? Sorry, Lord, Al Lord Tory Alfred. <laughs> that was his cousin. His cousin? It's very hot up here, Grant. <laughs> well, I would assume that you've set the bombs, because, I mean, obviously. So, I think perhaps if we can expose this, uh, you know, real flagrant attempt at murder, mm. just straight up murder. Uh, by getting back into the Santar factory, uh, probably there's got to be some deeper rooms behind server rooms, some sort of secret office with Love papers it. saying Amco Grotto or signed Lord Tory Alpha. <laughs> that, you know, sort of you know, plot device, right? Tell you what, let's not have another scene in the factory. Let's break into his mansion. Oh, very good. <laughs> Love it. Okay, cool, brilliant. Sean? Yes. You good? I'm ready. I'm ready. ready to rock? I'm ready to go to the mansion. Smash cut to the mansion. <laughs> it's posh in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's been bought up in its entirety from London. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. From Kent. Yes. Pushed <laughs> by 300 <laughs> poor people <laughs> using the traditional Egyptian method of putting logs under it. And it's here now. But Sean's going to try and get in. Outside there are guard dogs. Oh no. All of them conservative Animal, voters. Animal, animals. There this are is... Yeah, how are you going to sneak in? Uh, I'm going to get some of the biscuits from the catering and chuck them out for the dogs to try and uh, distract them with food. Brilliant. Please roll me a check. So that's uh, just a dice, I think. Just, just a d6. Oh, we're involving animals though, right? We are involving animals. Oh, so two d6. Yes. Okay, that's not okay you're killed. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but something interesting happens. Uh, I think that the majority of the dogs are, com are taken with the biscuits because they are not from the north after all, so they, I presume they love biscuits. <laughs> but then one, yeah. but then the, the everyone likes a biscuit. Everyone you don't have to biscuit. be from the north. Uh, yeah. And then one of them that doesn't like biscuits uh, bites his head off. <laughs> 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 like you, you fall down behind a bush, and like it's, it's all slightly out of focus. There's a, there's a grim arterial spray. Oh heck! <laughs> and the and, and the hat tumbles. Let's see if I can get the hat on camera. The hat tumbles. Uh, more blood soaked. Oh. But the dogs are largely distracted. Oh, that's good. And that hat's just landed right on that big iron spiky uh, fence. <laughs> Better climb over it to both get into mansion and retrieve that. Sounds good. All right, off I go. Not very good at this, but let's 2D6. see. 2d6. Oh, 3d6, actually. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I said ooh, but actually I mean oh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two interesting things happen, and I die. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Sean? Oh, so just, just name one interesting thing and then how you die. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> um, mm. So, yeah, I uh, get to the top of the fence, mm -hmm. grab the hat triumphantly, and then unfortunately, um, there is a spray of grease from that earlier scene where he greased. Well, I'm still, oh, yeah. my legs are still greasy from all that grease that got on the ground. Uh, <laughs> and I slip. You didn't, didn't get a shower in time in between yeah. scenes, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I, I fall backwards, throwing the hat. Deeper into the complex. Oh no! And fall back, like fall on my back onto a spike, going, oh, 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 <laughs> and then I die. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Only one Sean remains. Yes. And it is. Sean Bean. 
Oh, Sean Bean's back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're resurrected. I am voiceovers, interviews, and product endorsements. And how is it you're going to die? I'm going to get crushed by something heavy. Mm. Very good. Can you, I attempt to get the hat? You're the only surviving Sean at present, so yes. Bam. Um, where's the hat? Is it on a spike? No, uh, it's, it's been thrown. But sorry. Uh, go for it. <laughs> it's been thrown deeper into the... Uh, let's say it's uh, hanging um, on the arm of a very ornate Greek statue, because that's what rich people have in their houses, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Never, never Big, one. heavy <laughs> statue. <laughs> <laughs> Weak ankles on them Greek statues. <laughs> yeah. It's just, um, so that's inside the house. It's, 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 in, it's, it's in the grounds. In the grounds. In the grounds. It was pushed up. Am I inside the grounds, or shall I find a way to get inside? You're inside the grounds. Let's see if you can. Cause I've I, spawned uh, inside the grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I mean, you, like, you could have you just been filming from the other side of the fence and then put down the camera and try and get the hat. Or maybe because I am uh, a rich and famous person, Lord Tory Alfredton has been impressed and I've been staying at the mansion this whole time. Ah. Yes. Sure. Sounds good. You, okay. You, you, you wake up in a four poster bed. Uh, and see a hat, oh. and, and see a hat thrown underneath a precariously badly made statue. It's time. That's a nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're aware of the plot. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a nice hat. Yeah. Um, okay. please, please roll me two d six. Okay. I'm gonna go and grab a hat and possibly die again. That's gonna be great. That's a three and a three. A three and a three. Um, so Two events. An event occurs. <laughs> okay. You know what? Just for the purposes of time, I'm going to say you failed. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, you're crushed. <laughs> you're crushed by the judge. <laughs> because the plot says that the plot dictates here. Martin acts against the villain, but he is defeated. What happens, and why isn't Martin strong enough? Are we still at three? Well, it's over now. <laughs> you're not strong enough because you were defeated by a fence and a statue. <laughs> Typical Rusty Quill gaming way. You couldn't, you couldn't break in to, to the grounds. Um, so we have, we, we, we're going to need to have an entirely new bevy of beans. We are <laughs> Smash cut to the writer's room. Everyone's here. All the beans. Uh, the, the director's there smoking two cigarettes. <laughs> Listen, the plot's coming apart. I don't know what's going on. There, there weren't any, like, the villain wasn't in that previous scene. Everyone just died in the grounds. <laughs> One of them was already inside, and he got crushed. And I can't find the protagonist of my film anywhere. There's just a hat crushed under a statue somewhere. <laughs> Listen, we've got to pull this out. In Act 4, Martin receives aid from an unexpected source. What have we got? And also, who do we have here? Oh, um, I'm a, a sharp bean. Okay. Um, and I am gonna suffer a massive head or neck injury. Mm hmm. Ooh, Christ. Uh, I'm stark bean, honesty, a respect for tradition, uh, and tenacity. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be shot probably unceremoniously. Oh. I am Shakespearean bean. Ooh. And I am again going to be crushed by something heavy. <laughs> sure. Sorry, sure. Could you be dear and go get that hat from under the statue? <laughs> to be or not to be. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? We have fun. I like is that it took you a while to think of that. <laughs> uh, Helen, can you give me a get hat get hat from under statue roll, please? That's 2d6. Yep. That's a three and a two. Okay, so you are crushed a bit. Yeah! <laughs> but you do get the hat. Woo! Uh, you have one leg left, okay. um, but you've got the hat on. Okay, cool, that thank you. Sense. Been hurt a bit, that's fine. So the rest of you, what have we got? Who is this unexpected uh, uh, aid in this time of need? And how do they bring him what he needs? Oh, I'm thinking uh, International Union, Union of Santas. Okay. I can get yeah. some of my friends from the Men of the North to come down as the Santas, as Stark B. Oh, from Scotland. Oh, the only place Scotland further there. north than the north. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's myth, isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've heard tales. Very well. I like it. It's good. I'm going. So, so you're going. To, you're going to. Uh, we're going to see you find the, the ancient secrets uh, of, the, of the of the of the Santa Brotherhood. Yes. Let's play it out. That sounds good. Okay. I mean, let's write that and film it. Okay. Good. Men of the North. 
Okay. You must all don Santa hats and come down with me and film this film that we're doing that makes definitely a lot of sense when you think about it, really. Is, is, this, is this North as in Scotland or North as in North? Yes. All right. All right, pal, listen. If you think you're going to get us to put on hats that easy, you've got to think I'm in, pal. Would you like another rousing speech? Preferably one controlled by dice and not come out of the top of my head. <laughs> Aye, all right, pal. Listen, how about we let the, uh, the, the Shakespearean bean, who's actually explicitly got the sp skill uh, rousing speeches? That sounds like a mechanically better idea. Aye, all right, cool. Oh, dear. All right, pal. <laughs> Get us real revved up. Not entirely sure where I'm from, sort of just pinballing around the aisles. <laughs> <laughs> just popping over to Edinburgh for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back off to Glasgow. <laughs> right. Right. As Shakespearean Bean, I have to give a rousing speech. Aye. A girl. <laughs> what do you call me? <laughs> Apologies. Ego. Um, so, uh, long and short of it is, we need to go and mess up some posh southerner. Are you with me or not? You should have said. Hey! <laughs> now, that's a quick question. Why, why do you have to dress as Santa? And also, why are you dressed as Santa? We'll explain on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, tell you what. Make me a roll and we'll see. Okay. There's a D8 and... Uh, What's your, what's your method of death? Uh, crush by something heavy. <laughs> the mass of people coming to join the call, possibly. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That works, we are stampeded. Ooh, stampeded by Scotsman. Um, that is a six. And a six. Oh, two sixes. And that one explodes, so roll it again. Oh. Okay, next. You get to roll it again. Oh, you're injured. You die. <laughs> but, but you bring them on sight. That's fine. Because noble sacrifice is also on my list. If there's one thing I like, it's dressing up and beating up Tories. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys. And um, after finally set settling, on, finally setting on a sort of Disney Scots accent, they uh, they, they, they they charge forwards, um, unfortunately stampeding you to death. Oh, oh, heck. <laughs> if I had to go anyway, <laughs> this is how I'd want to go. With my brothers. Yeah, well, your um, your liver's flat, so you're probably gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> so you're down to your last bean, Helen. I am. Who's this one? Shooty bean. <gasps> Shooting, punching, not talking, which I'm sure you're very grateful about. Okay. <laughs> you, haven't, you, you haven't made any puns. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Um, again, I am going to be crushed by something heavy. <laughs> the same group as they arrive. A Scotsman puts on the hat. Oh. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. Bayek. There's some sort of magical transformation come over me. I can feel the spirits of Sean's bean rushing through my body. <laughs> What's going on? I feel as though I was born before the world was young. Yeah, a lot to explain. So, oh, yeah. basically, <laughs> evil witch cursed us. We need to get to the end of film, otherwise we can never die. And I'm so tired. How long has that been alive? Oh, very long. <laughs> Before time itself. <laughs> when clocks was just a dream. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want this ass? Well, uh, if you don't... <laughs> you don't mind? Very well. Oh, there you go. Right. That's a lot of pressure being a named actor. Jengs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, back to normal. It's a lot of business in that hat, pal. Yeah. Right, cool. Okay. I love it. Now, we're on to the third act. I, I, also, I forgot to roll for feedback from the producers oh. on the last scene. So we're going to have to... Should we double up, do you think? Or should yeah. we just... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the producers loved it. They loved the rousing speeches. They loved the, uh, the, the, the tragic death by stampeding. Very good. They loved the way that had the main character still in the film somehow. Very, very dodded. Cool. Puns? Mm. But, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> now. The final scene. 
the hero and the villain. Lord Tory Alfred, Lord Tory Alfred, thing. the guy, the guy with the voice and his face has been mashed up by a computer. We'll come back to him in a second. <laughs> they meet in a spectacular conflagration, but the producers, it's really important that there's much more of. Oh, okay. There's much more explosions and product endorsements. <laughs> Um, so yes, if you can just tie in some sort of product endorsement, that'd be really good for what we've got going on here. Um, any questions? Oh no, it's all broadly clear, I think. Brilliant, love it, love it, good, okay, cool. So... <clears throat> Dawn breaks <laughs> over the north. It's a bit like in those American films where this is Britain and they have like two double-decker red buses crashing into a post box. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and like someone eating fish and chips out of a Union Jack. <laughs> uh, that sort of thing. But it's, you can tell it's very northern. There's all sorts of northern tropes, um, which Helen, you could promote because you're from there. How about a beautiful landscape and slightly above average schools and <laughs> a few cities and really good fish and chips. Fish it, the north. <laughs> We've above average schools. <laughs> Do you like cities? We've got a few. <laughs> <laughs> and don't get us started on our children's education. Okay. Mm. Donate to mine to help the north. Oh my god, yes, donate to mine. Uh, let's, go, let's, let's, let's take, a, let's take a, a very short break here before I get into my big dramatic thing. Uh, I would like to speak from the heart for a second. Mine has personally saved my life on one horrible occasion. So it's very important to me. That's why I like coming along and doing this. And it's really important that you give money to them so they can help other people like me. I'm okay-ish now, but other people do need mine. So please give some money to them and be cool. Can we get a round of applause for everyone who's donating? <laughs> However, however, I will stress, if you donate enough that Alex does that thing with the cats again, <laughs> just maybe just throttle it back under that. I don't know what the next break is, but... Uh, That's yeah. the only time he does it, I think. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Dawn breaks over the north. <laughs> we hear drums in the distance. Dun, 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 dun. The camera pans past several cities. <laughs> An above average school, which is normal for this kind of area. <laughs> Some fish and chips, which look pretty good. <laughs> and a beautiful landscape. Oh. Slate? Yeah. Moors and hills! In fact, the landscape in the north is very diverse. <laughs> Miss it, the north. <laughs> the camera pans over a diverse, <laughs> non specific landscape. <laughs> A beautiful white space, just, like, just an unmarked box full of, poten full of potential. And a dog is there. No, congrats on not, on not leaning into stereotypes. Well done. Dawn breaks over the north. It's pretty cool as we've heard. <laughs> The camera pans over the smoking Santa's Grotto outside children weeping. But outside more children, wait, outside there are other children beeping on their phones, <laughs> pushing buttons. Bring! New wish delivered to Santa. Bring! Lap sat, get plus 10 XP. Bring! Another joke. <laughs> <laughs> Things haven't been the same since that Santa factory came in. And seeing as it took six months to rescue those guys from the north. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that would make it, that would be July, wouldn't it? That would be. <laughs> 12 months, so come back around. There we go, thank you, yes. <laughs> It took a full year to walk to Scotland. <laughs> we couldn't find a bus big enough for all the Scotsmen, so we had to walk back. Six months there, six months back. Yep. And the Santa factory is flourishing. Inside, 
non-specific servers <laughs> do computers on phones. <laughs> row upon row of Santas working in terrible conditions, oh, no. being paid pittances. A pittance, that's the way the phrase goes. <laughs> With crude, ill-fitting VR helmets. <laughs> yeah, all right. With crude, ill-fitting VR helmets, multi-serve up to 300 children at a time on their virtual laps. It is cold and impersonal. And standing above it all in a sort of tailored Santa outfit that still makes him look like a real piece of work. His face is really scarred because of all the server stuff. His face has a full circuit board lodged in it still. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Tory Alfredton. Yeah, can we get a boo, please, for... Hang on. Lord Tory Alfredton. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can hear audiences and I love being booed. Do it more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Makes me real happy being booed. Knows I'm doing good. It's not a sentence. Anyway. Now my domination of the North is all but complete. If only I had, if only someone had put out the fire in the grotto over the last year, <laughs> which is still apparently burning. But then again, my policies have throttled the fire services around here, so we just, we just have to wait until fires go out naturally. And all those presents were real full of fuel. As, well, no, well, I guess we'd have to burn more. I don't know why I'm leaning into the camera like it's a mic. <laughs> I've been doing this the whole game. <laughs> and I guess they could just get my lids coming in under here. We're on that no. camera, fortunately. Which one? That one. It's got a light on. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did the heartfelt bits of mine through that bit, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do one with just the lips if you want to get a different kind of donation. <laughs> <laughs> My domination of the North is nearly complete, and only one thing remains. Getting those last few children over to my business center and selling them presents. Now, I, I'm not entirely sure how money comes out of this enterprise. Get a, maybe some sort of Amazon referral link. <laughs> oh, you sell their personal information. Yeah, they're the products, rubes. <laughs> No one can stop me now, unless there were a big army of Scotsmen led by three Sean Beans. <laughs> but what are the odds on that happening? I burnt down the grotto with the Sean's Bean in it a year ago, <laughs> and only a pair of greasy girders remained. <laughs> Tory Alfredton, specifically you, not any... No, yes, I, yeah. yes, it's for me. Yeah, no, Have you I got mean, my horse for me? No, I've come here to... Everything is for me, I'm a Tory. No, yeah, I know, but... Before... No, sorry, I'm Tory Alfredton. <laughs> yeah. I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm not related to any specific I'm evil to to any party. political parties. <laughs> Look, I've come here because it's honourable before battle to have a chat to general to general. Are you here to scare the pheasants out from the bushes? I don't understand. I'm here to scare you out from our town. What? Yeah. Hang on. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll take that one again, okay? No, yes, okay. Go on, scare me. <laughs> I'm bulletproof. All right, um... Well, I'm not literally... Are you? Hang on a minute. <laughs> a shitty bean in the distance. Go on. Yeah, <laughs> shitty bean's ears. Prick up. I've, I've been raised to, to believe that I can do no wrong and I deserve more than anyone else. In fact, I'd like that hat, thank you very much. It looks nice. Ooh! <laughs> you weren't getting that blooming hat. <laughs> oh, lies. Yeah. Um, I do know what's going to scare you, because the only thing more scary to a Tory Alfredson <laughs> than... We are a breed. ...the North is the further North. The Scotland. No! Especially... <laughs> No! <laughs> Bring out the election, lads! We're having a referendum! <laughs> I 
as you can see, looking out of this window, miles and miles of Scotsmen self-determining. <laughs> They don't even want to devolve power. The West Lothian question is right out of the window. <laughs> Not a referendum. No one weakness. <laughs> I can feel it filling up my veins and lungs. <laughs> no, no. And he stumbles back into the factory. <laughs> and goes in to a room that used to be the government mandated sectorium. <laughs> but is now the Northern Hazmat Suit Fitting Room. <laughs> I have to, he's, he's behind the door, so it's going to sound a bit weird. I have, developed, I have developed a special suit for survival in the North. It keeps me safe from all Northern influences. <laughs> and he opens it. Like good schools. <laughs> yes, like good schools in lots of cities. <laughs> well, not lots, but several. <laughs> Visit the north. <laughs> we have a cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> Up to three on the good day, I've heard. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to come out now. <laughs> imagine a has. Imagine a three-piece hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he's wearing. He's wearing a special anti-poor three-piece hazmat suit. These legions of Scotsmen will be powerless before me as I romp and stomp about them before they can do a vote. <laughs> right, well, that's me basically shot for ideas. You over there, what do you think? <laughs> Come on, lads, let's get him. <laughs> that sounds good. Ah, the original plan. Again, I like it. It's good, okay. Well, the referenda gambit didn't really work, so I just get we're going to beat him up using extreme physical violence. Which is fine, kids. Not a problem at all. So, go on. It's a pipe. Hooray! Progress. Uh, there, is a, there, 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 is, there is a charge of Scotsmen. Ah. Ah, all dressed as Santas, charging throughout the north. Presumably in one of those aforementioned <laughs> cities. <laughs> crashing down into the side of the Santa factory. Smashing up against all the guard dogs, yep. which the producers asked for. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. What's the other one? Explosions. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> no, no, wait, sorry. It was, it was dogs and, and um, product endorsements, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe some of the... Or was it explosions? Which one? It was, it was explosions, explosions. Explosions. And yeah, so not maybe dogs. all the dogs sorry. are strapped with Nike bombs. <laughs> Silence. Is that what, what is a Nike bomb? It's, it's like a bomb, but it's been made by a popular and I believe, what's the phrase? Suey company. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's not what happens. <laughs> like Non-specific bomb. Non-specific. Covered in. Well, no. They, they, okay. Um, there are dog bombs. Covered in branded. Covered in branded bombs. Yes. <laughs> Adidas. Adidas <laughs> bomb. <laughs> Night bombs won't explode on time, but Adidas anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> The, the, uh, they smash into the site and explosions blah, 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 start firing off. Ah, oh, hits me leg, says one man. Ah, oh, James, bust me legs, says a different man. Um, Helen. Yeah. By which I mean Sean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like he's in the room. Um, you're oh, shitty, Bean. I am. What are you going to do about this situation? As Lord, Alt Lord Tory Alfredton romps and stomps about, punching people with, it, with his big servo powered arms. I'm going to shoot. Which I didn't mention before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I'm going to sniper shoot him in the face, please. Okay. Yeah. Please roll. Uh, how do you die again? Crushed. Okay. Where are you standing while you sniper shoot him? Are you hanging off that same statue? It's <laughs> 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 a so painstaking <laughs> Well, I haven't moved from outside the factory. It seems to be very effective in crushing Sean's beam. No, I'm going to be in um, a good sniper position, like on a roof near mm -hmm. a gargoyle. Ah, <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So that's uh, D8 and D6, please. Yeah. You may have them. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a, that's a one and a five. One and five. So, so, so you are injured. Yeah. You snipe him. Good. He doesn't die just yet. Damn it. You snipe him uh, in the ear. That's a stupid place to snipe him. Well, it's quite close to the good place to snipe him. I should aim for like the 
torso. That's true. Yeah. But he's got, he's, he's got like a quadruple breast suit yeah. on. I wanted to show <laughs> off, it was my own fault. Mm -hmm. uh, he turns um, and draws a posh shotgun. The posh kind, you know? One that you'd, you'd have on your... Yeah, you'd, 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 you'd have it broken and have yes. a man load it for you. Yes. Anyway, anyway, yes, yes. He had it broken before, but now he sees this is a real fight. <laughs> <laughs> and fire that you buckshot it hits you and it's sore <laughs> oh no oh no oh no oh no it's that hurts a bit <laughs> <laughs> you uh you, uh, you, you, you you trip and grab on to the balcony balcony the roof the guttering on the roof where you were okay yeah. oh you mean I fall off the roof yeah, but you grab onto the okay. balcony. Okay. All right, I'm done. Gu guttering. That's yeah. Okay. Cool. Gonna do a dangle. Do a dangle. Yeah. Right. Well, now we're just enacting uh, an egregious amount of physical violence. Uh, as the way of honour tells me, I must uh, uh, fight Lord Tory Alfreton in one-on-one -on -one single combat. Hopefully, he's been softened up by losing an ear. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> So I get another side of you. Uh, hope you've been softened up by losing that ear. No. Oh, right, fair <laughs> enough then. Well, anyway, single combat. And just by the way, I uh, just want to tell you, I've got a really fragile neck, so please no beating about the head or neck. I understand. Uh, I know I can trust you as Lord Tory Alfred. I'm a lord. Exactly. Uh, right. I'm going to beat him about the head and neck. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners, viewers, order anyway. Right, so I'm good at combat. Hang on, oh. let me put on my um, special gripping hands. Oh, what's that for? Gripping. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> oh. I do hope he's not planning on gripping my head or neck, but he did promise. That's true, I did promise. Yep. Uh, well, uh, that's a three and a four. Okay, so, so a complication occurs. Okay. What happens? Um, Which makes this next bit easier or harder, but something <laughs> happens. So, um, yeah, so uh, I've got my broadsword. I borrowed it from a Scotsman, I guess. <laughs> you can have one of these spares. <laughs> what was that next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sparks glittering off of his gripping arms. Him grabbing at my neck and head, but I'm dodging out of the way. Oh, not getting that. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky Tory Alfred's going for my head or, and or neck. Um, I was going for your shoulders. <laughs> honest. Oh, that's fair. Um, but then, still... Uh, I, I just there's a bit of grease coming down off this uh, off this hat uh, from the just various times it's been greased. stamped, trampled, greased, mm -hmm. um, and I uh, lose the sword. Yeah. It slips from my fingers, <laughs> and I trip on a flagstone <gasps> oh, no. of what would usually be sort of very well kept road, but unfortunately cutbacks have just made mm -hmm. the potholes and flagstones. Oh no! Gone. How can that have happened? So um, and I fall to my uh, fall fall on my back in front of uh, Lord Tory Alfreton, who <laughs> readies a grippy hand. Now it's time to reveal my plan. I was going to hurt your neck. Oh no! Should have seen that coming. Look at the time. It's neck o'clock. Oh, ding ding ding! ding. <laughs> Everyone, get some neck. <laughs> oh, you should probably talk to that other shop. He's quite he's good at one liners. Hang on a second. What do you do? Uh, There's a greasy sword. I, I, I run towards the greasy sword and uh, take, up, take up arms and try and help my fallen, uh, fallen, sh fallen Sean. Which Sean are you? Uh, I'm Stark Sean. Oh, you're definitely good with swords. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, D6? Yeah, D6 and a D8. Uh, and, uh, in fact, two. That's... Uh, wow! You're injured, but... A great success. <laughs> How do you get injured? Uh, I guess, I guess it touches, touches it touched your head and neck yeah, a little bit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think something the, the in in fighting with the sword, it, it kind of it again slips out of my hand. The sword, so we're just going to be playing for like. Uh, uh, but I still managed to kick him in the face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the side with the shot off here as well. <laughs> My hazmat suit is all cracked. I'm going to take off the helmet. <laughs> Hit one of those dogs. Yeah, I love standing on dogs. Boo me some more. <laughs> mm. I love it. 
Helen. Yeah. The sword. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> was it dangling? Yeah, was it the hand you were, you were hanging on with? Or? Well, I've got, I've got, got a gutter in one hand and a yeah. sword in the other. Cool. And Lord Alfred Torrington. Under. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. The Tory. The Tory. Yeah. Mr. Alfred. Mr. Tory. Lord. <laughs> this guy. Sir Tory. Sir Tory. Um. The manifestation of all of my current fears, aside from climate change, is here, <laughs> beneath you, neck deliciously exposed. Oh, lovely. What are you going to do? Love a bit of neck. Um, <laughs> I, I, I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and dangerous. Um, I am going to let go of the guttering and hope that I slice through him with... with <laughs> I'm going to let go of the string and slice through him. No hope involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's shooting herself at him because she's shooty bean, right? I can do both. Can I do both? <laughs> With your third hand? Oh, yeah. As, oh, as you fall. All your have a third hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just draw it on real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to veto the third hand at this, at this last stage. I feel we should have had some foreshadowing. As you're falling, you pull out your gun, your non-sniper rifle gun. Yeah. It's a cool gun. Yeah. Um, please make me an, 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 an murder check. Yeah. Uh, so there are. Check. Um, this is your last bean as well. Isn't yeah, it's my last bean. <laughs> this is my goal all along. And you're already injured. Yes, so that's an... D8 and a D6. Yep. Drum roll, please. Oh, no, don't do that. That one explodes, roll it again. Okay. Ray! That's another rate, it keeps exploding, oh my god. <laughs> We've run out of D8s, roll it with the D8. We've run out of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray! Okay, okay, so that's, that's, uh, that's, that's three successes, which is the most anyone's rolled all game, which, oh. is, which is a really good thing for the climax. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens? Um, In slow motion. In slow motion, Shooty Bean um, falls down from the walls of the mansion and um, both shoots <laughs> Tori Alfredson in the face ah. and also slices him in half like out of a Final Destination film. Ah. And um, as he does it, he says, this is for the North. <laughs> Blue blood everywhere. <laughs> off my helmet. I've ah. got the north all in me. Oh, now you were beaten about the face and or neck. Oh. <laughs> irony. Oh, such a crushing irony. And now I die. Hooray! <laughs> uh, director? Yes, hello. Is that, uh, is that credits rolled or? Um... Um, so we got, um, we, we didn't have the product endorsements. We did have the explosions, which I oh, liked. Yeah. Actually, no, we didn't have those either. Oh no! So the dogs exploded. The dogs exploded. Yes, that was strange, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Can you just please knock me out a quick product endorsement now? Sheffield steel broadswords. Good for cutting down lord swords. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap, people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for staying with us. <laughs> <laughs> For a very northern Christmas. I liked how confusing it got. <laughs> but I think we all had fun. Uh, if you had fun, or even if you didn't, so if you had fun, please donate to Mind. Um, there should be a button right there where it says donate. Click on that and go and give some cash so people can help get better heads. Uh, if you didn't hate it, if you didn't like it, please donate out of spite. <laughs> uh, the more money you give, the, oh, the more it will hurt me. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, if you really want to show me who's boss, just give as much money as you can to mind. Or if you don't, also just give. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we stitch this thing together because we're, we're 10 minutes early. So, oh. are there any questions <laughs> about unresolved events that happened in the narrative? No, 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 please, please, what, one what, at a time. What happened to the children? Oh, they got killed by the exploding dogs. <laughs>
No, 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 sorry, sorry. They, they were great, and they went home. <laughs> and they went home in a post credit scene, <laughs> and they... Uh, yeah, uh, they went home to an independent Scotland, and they all set up their own, um, like, cottage Santa industry, uh, doing local organic Santaing. <laughs> children. Children. Um, we never took them out of the server room, so they're probably still in they're there. Yeah. <laughs> They were um, there for a year, weren't they? A full year. Yeah, they, they weren't tall enough to climb out. Uh, but, but, they've gotten strong and powerful. And there's a scene of them uh, smashing uh, the chains off the VR Santas with hammers, which also resolves that, 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 that plot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's everything. Yeah. We had a genuine question, I think. Oh, did we? <laughs> Thank you, yes, of course. <laughs> The actual end of the game. <laughs> a dawn breaks. <laughs> <laughs> it happens in the north, certainly. <laughs> there is a portal in Yorkshire. Frost rhymed Heather. No, it's Scotland. You get Heather in the north. Northern Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Moss and pasties surrounding it. Dry stone walls. Dry stone walls. Mm. The three surviving Sean Beans emerge. <laughs> Victory pause. Before you stands the cosmic demon witch. <laughs> so, Sean Beans, you survived. This, is, this is pretty close to the Tories' voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean Beans, I'm a sexy witch. Yeah. You survived to the end of the film. And now, you may die gloriously on your own terms, but probably in a cool, ascending into light way, rather than a stabbing yourself way. <laughs> How do you choose to die gloriously? You can each die gloriously in your own terms, actually, and that seems like a fun way to round out the show. <laughs> ben? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um, I'm gonna call out how I've always wanted to, um, which is fighting the entire Houses of Parliament all at once. <laughs> yes! Tomden! Bare knuckle. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, you got used to mace. Stripped to waist. I've got to fight Black Rod herself. <laughs> yes! That's quite niche, actually. In single combat. And, and you, Helen Bean. How, what will your glorious last stand be? Glorious? going to hop over the pond and punch some billionaires in the face until their bodyguards drag me off. Very good. <laughs> Bothering the wealthy. Yes! <laughs> and what anti-establishment way do you want to die, little boy? <laughs> I'm going to go and recreate that scene in Goldeneye with the big satellite where he falls from it and then the satellite falls on him and he goes, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> a fitting end for all, and for all, a fitting end. <laughs> right, round of applause, please. <laughs> you, oh, but actually, before you start, I will say, if you are interested in playing a very own game of A Very Northern Christmas, it is out next week, so you can download it and play it. Um, just search for a very northern Christmas and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Great, cool, thank you everyone. Um, thank you Grant for being our special guest today and sharing that wonderful game with us. all of you guys to uh, to vacate we're gonna play our next game um, you guys enjoying it so far yeah. perfect okay so just to let you know I've been letting, I've just been told by the social media team that we are 30% of the way to achieving our goal yeah. it's two o'clock that's really amazing so thank you so much to everyone who has donated so far it's really it's a really really great cause Scott please Scott please no <laughs> Scott, I don't have time for the paperwork, Scott. <laughs> Scott, I can't. Oh. Okay, so while Scott's trying to fix that and performing death-defying stunts, Scott, uh, Scott if, you, if you die, I don't have any insurance. <laughs> okay, he's fine with that. <laughs> so. oh. Oh. Yay, all right, okay. 
so while Scott is uh, is doing this, can I? Uh, thank you, Scott. Mate, you please, please, please stop. Please stop, Scott. Please. What? <laughs> So, if you're watching at home, uh, I know that you can't see why I'm ducking down right now. It's because there's an RGB thing over here. Um, so, in terms of the day, um, we, I realise that we're cracking on through the day now. Actually, it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just to let you know, I've been chatting with the guys backstage, and it is a beautiful, sunny day in central London. The perfect day for keeping everyone in the dark in a studio. Um, so, Scott, when you're done, when you're good and happy, he says one and he's happy. Right, in that case then, so Johnny, can I invite Johnny Sims up to the stage, please? Because, because it is time to do our next Patreon thing.